Sheriff. Pray give us order. The chaplain of the day will open the exercises with prayer. Source of all life, you who have created us each with our unique gifts, to you we turn in thanksgiving at this milestone in so many lives. Grant, we pray, health and strength to these graduates as they leave here. Ubi, Rogata? Ego ipsa, non certus. Sed puto alacubi, ultra opicina biologica. Poro alae, sacietatem et veritatem in vino. Piccadilly E. Philly E. El mejor conguero que hay en Harvard. Aquí está. No, mentira. El mejor es él. You have an obligation to use the special opportunities you have had for the benefit of others. What form that takes will depend on your imagination and your energy. There are many ways of working on the side of the angels. And the bottom line of this also is like, you know, you make of the school whatever you want to make of it. Yeah, really. it's true. Because once you get out of here, like people ask me, so what are you going to do now? And I tell them, you know, I'm going to go back to music. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning, they're a little bit like, what? We will now begin the presentation of degrees. And we will start first with the candidates for the LLM and the SJD degrees. Also, I'm going to get involved in movies, you know, and the reason I'm going to get involved, involved in film is because um, I'm trying to help to dispel the stereotype of the, uh, the Latin that it unfortunately has been shown in, uh, in films uh, through the U.S. Hi. This is my manager, uh, original manager. You scare me a little bit. You, know. <laughs> you always think that I'm losing, that I get lost, you know. Really this is the lady it. that started it all, folks, uh, way back when. <laughs> many years ago. Not so many, my. Uh, well, let me saw some. At any rate, <laughs> at any rate. Uh, <laughs> Ruben Blaze. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean. Good luck to you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. After all, and I don't care what anybody may say, right, guys? We didn't get this thing, you know, this didn't come out of a cornflakes box, you know? <laughs> we had to, uh, to work hard. We had to work for it. When I look at the ultimate result, what I, what I see is like, you know, nine months, mm -hmm. a year mm -hmm. that I went through that made me a better person all around because I had to face all these different uh, types of pressures and, mm -hmm. and know that, you know, you came out. Well, you, know? you did real well, and well, it was a real you. kick for me to be your teacher. <laughs> Good luck. Good you Thanks a lot, Fred. Everyone returns to the land where they were born, to the incomparable bewitching attraction of its sun. Everybody returns to the place from where they came, where perhaps more than one love blossomed. Under the solitary tree of yesterday, we dream over and over. Everyone returns through the root of memories, but the time of past love never comes back. The air, which brings in its hands the flower of the past, its aroma of yesterday, tells us very softly to our ear the song learned from afternoons. It tells us with a mysterious voice of thorns and of roses, of moon and honey, that the love of this earth is sacred, that the absence of yesterdays is sad. Then the chorus says, everyone returns. This song, written by a Peruvian, it's titled, Todos Vuelven. Yeah. 
nuevo, tumbadora. This is Panama. This section around here is what's known as uh, Balboa Avenue. Balboa being the uh, discoverer of the Pacific Ocean. I used to walk around here when I was a kid, and things have changed a lot since I was a kid around here. This used to be practically wild. There were no buildings, no no roads like this and whatnot. Panama is a very young country, and in those days we were just beginning to to develop. I'm not that old, you know, but I mean, I'm reasonably old, and. Um, you get back here and you start looking at how things have changed and how different they are from, from what they used to be. It gives you also, at the same time, that it makes you feel nostalgic about it, about the way it used to be. At the same time, also, it gives you a, a feeling of, of movement. You feel you're also moving with the country. And it's a place that I really miss over there towards the backdrop of the, the bay, that's the old part of Panama. That's where my mother and my father used to live. That's where my grandmother used to live, in that area. It's called uh, Catedral. And that's where the city began, and then it spread out. So basically, you know, this, this is my father, uh, Rubén. And this, we are in a place called Plaza Herrera, which is part of like the old Panama. The way the, the city began itself, and uh, used to live around here or in this area. Momento. So talk to My mother was a professor, and he was he was the uh, the one who, who really teach Ruben about the way you know life is and the people. How you have to learn in order to, to fight life or whatever. He was, he was the one who really pushed him. His advisor, let's put it that way, it was my mother. And he paid great attention to her. I'm talking about uh, your grandmother. Yeah, she used, to, she used to say for a long time that she owned part of this park, you know, because his family apparently had one point had a lot of different things, and then they all lost it. And the men in the family lost everything. Yeah. That's over there is the is the place where where, where I was born. And then he used to live a little bit further that down that way, right? Yeah. All this area. We never moved from this neighborhood for around uh, 20 years. From here we moved uh, two blocks. Two blocks. You know, that's called, in the street. That's called uh, social climbing, you know. <laughs> we went uh, two blocks higher. In 1974, I graduated from the University of Panama, National University of Panama. I graduated as an attorney. I came over and started working as a member of the legal staff of this bank here in the uh, Banco Nacional de Panama. I worked there for a couple of years as an attorney. And uh, in 1974, I then went to New York to uh, pursue another type of career, another type of livelihood, music. That's when I left. I left. I went back to New York and became a musician. Much to the chagrin of my mother, who believed that my real career was behind those walls. When I first started listening to Latin music in the 50s, it was Tito Rodriguez, Tito Puente, and Machito. Obviously, we've come a long way, but in a certain way, it seems like your music does fit into that tradition. How do you think it, it works? Has it moved the tradition forward? What I am doing right now is, I guess, I'm doing what they would be doing if they were my age. Young now. Now, exactly. Because if you think like all the things, all the experiments that traditionalists like Machito and Mario Bausa, you know, did when they got together with Dizzy Gillespie and they started experiencing experimenting with music and jazz, right. uh, Afro-Cuban music and jazz, it's not so different from what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking 
the traditional sounds, pop sounds, or, or sounds that are part of the international music scene, and adapting those sounds uh, through this, this Caribbean. The, tr the traditional rhythm base. The traditional base. rhythm base of right. salsa music. Yeah, sure. Searching for America. I'm searching for America, and I fear I won't find it. Its traces have become lost among the darkness. I'm calling for America, but it can't answer me. Those afraid of truth have made her disappear. Surrounded by shadows, we deny the certain. While we live without justice, there will never be peace. Living under dictatorships, I search, but I can't find you. No one knows where your tortured body is. You have been kidnapped, America. You have been gagged, and it, it is up for us to free you. I'm calling for you, America. Our future awaits. Before it dies, help me to search. The whole notion behind the Columbus voyage, I don't think that the, the whole purpose was just to find a shorter route to the Indies and then capitalize, you know, in the, uh, because Spain would participate in the economic uh, earnings of such venture. Uh, I, I also think that the people that signed in to go were people who really were looking for something else. Uh, a new beginning, a place where they would not have to be submitted to things that they did not want to be a part of in, in Spain. But in the sense of the promise, we still have not found America, really. We managed to take something that existed in an undisturbed way, and we managed to just recreate everything that is bad about us and about civilization in general you know so in that sense we're still looking for america we're still looking for the promise i think as hard as it may seem if we take in, in fact the that mankind you know or humankind from the beginning we have seen not to be able to not to repeat the same errors over and over i still believe that fear if anything is going to make us reflect and stop. And, and probably then that promise of America will be, uh, will be fulfilled. Buscando America. Estoy buscando 